oh, well, that's not fair. Or that's, that's a double standard. Yes, I know. I acknowledge that. I say, yes, I know, but this is just how it is. If you want to stick around, that's fine. If you don't, you know, you don't have to keep seeing me. But I make it clear that if they go and hook up with another dude, that I will drop them instantly, okay? And they know that I'm serious about that. And it also helps to have a bunch of other hot girls around that they know about because then they see, okay, they could be replaced, okay? If they want to leave, there's just going to be a girl just like them that comes in. That doesn't mean they're not special, but you have the ability to bring in another girl that will be okay with those rules, okay? So that's of primary importance is this one-way monogamy. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about the different rules and boundaries with your main rotation girl. Okay, so a lot of guys have been asking me about this. I've ran big rotations notoriously all around the world. Okay, I used to run six to 12 girl rotations on average, that was the typical range. In the past few years, it's grown a lot in size, usually 10 to 15 girls. In Brazil, there's about 13 right now uh, on the side and then we have the girls that live in the house, and then there's a whole bunch more on threesome rotation. In Poland, it got up to 17 uh, girls total, which was slightly overwhelming, but still manageable, okay? So we're gonna go over the different boundaries and guidelines and rules that you have with the main rotation girl you're seeing. And by the way, rotation means basically like a harem girl, like a fuck buddy, a girl you're seeing you know, for repeat sex, okay, on a regular basis. So before we get into that, if you are new to the channel, this channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice in a very efficient, effective, and optimized manner. All the fluff content, all the BS is removed. It's, there's no abstract woo-woo BS, which plagues the, most of the rest of the scene. Okay, so do not delay. Uh, press the notification bell and subscribe, and you'll be alerted of new videos every single day. Okay, and also, if you are looking to up your game, okay, and start packing your schedule out with dates, Guys are usually getting five to 10 dates a week, starting by week two of my eight week program. If you'd like to have five to 10 dates a week, starting by next week, jump on a free 30 minute call. You'll speak to me or one of my coaches. We'll go over how we can take you from wherever you're at to a very advanced level very fast, okay? So the rules for the main rotation girl, first of all, as you're building a rotation, the main one, what, what's referred to as the main rotation girl, will typically be the hottest, coolest one that you have the most chemistry with. And it also checks the most boxes internally, okay? So with that particular girl, uh, there's going to exist one way monogamy. Okay. What that means is she can't sleep with other girls or sorry, she can't sleep with other guys, but you can sleep with other girls. Now, when I talk to this, when I talk about this to clients, they always say, Oh, well, Hey, that's not fair. Or Hey, uh, that's a double standard. Yes, it is. Okay. And they're like, well, how do you get around that? The key is once the girl likes you enough, I put that out there as something that's not negotiable. Okay. And the girl would rather stay with you than say, Oh, fuck this rule. Okay. So <clears throat> you first need to build investment. Okay. Which and investment comes in multiple forms. There's temporal investment from spending time together. There's emotional investment from getting to know each other and getting attachment. There is physical investment where you guys are actually hooking up and having sex. Okay. So you build that stuff up. Now she's very into you. And then I tell her, listen, I want to keep seeing other girls on the side. I really care about you a lot, but I want to have some sexual variety. And if they say, oh, well, can I see, see other guys too? No, because I just have as a, as a requirement for the girl I'm seeing that I don't want her seeing other guys. Oh, well, that's not fair. Or that's, that's a double standard. Yes, I know. I acknowledge that. I say, yes, I know, but this is just how it is. If you want to stick around, that's fine. If you don't, you know, you don't have to keep seeing me, but I make it clear that if they go and hook up with another dude that I will drop them instantly. Okay. And they know that I'm serious about that. And it also helps to have a bunch of other hot girls around that they know about because then they see, okay, they they could be replaced. Okay. If they want to leave, they're just going to be a girl just like them that comes in. That doesn't mean they're not special, but you have the ability to bring in another girl that will be okay with those rules, okay? So that's of primary importance is this one-way monogamy, okay? And I'll usually tell them how I'm seeing a bunch of other girls, but that they're the most important, that I have the emotional connection with them. I'll also tie in things, I'll say, 
Only 5% of mammals are monogamous, which is true. Homo sapiens are not meant to be monogamous, which is also true. I read in my neuroscience and, and um, cognitive science books, evolutionary psychology books, that men, homo sapien men, humans, are meant to have one main partner and a bunch of side partners, okay? That's what they found through evolutionary psychology. And also, anatomically speaking, there's a part of our brain responsible for monogamy and homo sapiens do not have it. They found it in certain species of monkeys and they've tinkered with that part of their brain and the monkey will go around and start mating with everyone, okay? So I tell them, listen, monogamy isn't natural. The divorce rates are so high and cheating is so rampant because people have urges to do these things and they're just going and doing them anyways. Okay, just behind their partner's back. I'm telling you up front, I'm gonna be seeing some other people. You know, that's just how it is. Okay, but I care about you the most, etc. And, and you know, you treat her like a girlfriend for all intents and purposes. You're going out on dates, you're sharing lovey-dovey moments, etc. Um, not to be confused with simping. It's okay to, to have a strong emotional connection with a woman. Whenever I type stuff like that, or when I put the six month anniversary of my girlfriend, oh, look at him simping out. No, you guys are fucking losers that are saying that. You don't have any girls, most likely. It, there's nothing simping about having a strong emotional connection with a girl that you care about, okay? Plenty of strong men have that, okay? The, the guy, the, people just freely throw that around. Oh, he counts lace to simp, okay. 1,369 girls makes me a simp. Oh, um, he's living in the house with girls, he's a simp. Yeah, who wouldn't want to live with three hot Brazilian girls? All these fucking, you know, things that, that people throw around, it's, it's really pathetic. Um, okay, don't be a simp, go, go sit in your basement and jerk off, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, the other rules are typically that they need to be bisexual, just so that we can incorporate threesomes and do pickup together. These are my own personal rules. Um, I want them to be at least a nine. Okay, that's a standard. I'm gonna make a separate video where I'm gonna show over the past 10 years all the different main rotation girls and official girlfriends that I had and how they're all over a nine plus looks wise consistently because that was a standard. Okay, and if your game is good enough, that should be no problem. And cue the, all the red pill coaches who, who dropped out of the game to marry a three okay, and have no receipts of anything. Pathetic, <clears throat> okay? Um, but they also should check a whole bunch of other boxes internally as well. But this isn't about standards for a main chick. This is just about rules and stuff like that. So I also have a rule that they don't lie. I caught one main chick that I was pretty close with in a lie and I dropped her instantly. Okay, so there's no lying. There also should be no disrespect. Okay, you should make it very clear that you don't tolerate disrespect. It doesn't mean, this isn't running like a dictatorship or a, a tyranny or something like this where it's like my way or the highway. This is basically like simple boundaries that you enforce. Okay, number one, I'm gonna be seeing other girls. Number two, you're not gonna be seeing any other guys. Number three, like we're gonna be having threesomes and foursomes, etc. cetera. Uh, um, you're not gonna be lying ever. You're not gonna be disrespecting, okay? And that's pretty much it. Like, there isn't, it's not there's this long list of things they must adhere to. You guys just go about, have your fun, etc. You see other girls on the side as you see fit and you grow a, a relationship and a bond together. And it's that simple. And I think it's very healthy in a relationship to talk about your problems and address them in a calm and civil manner and try to see the other person's point of view because lots of times communication is, the, they're seeing it one way and you're seeing it a different way and you're not even clear on how they're seeing it or where they're coming from because you haven't spoken about it. So whenever there's an issue or some sort um, of you know, unrest or uh, dissatisfaction about something, I like to just address it straight on, have a civil, calm, adult conversation. Okay, when I do this, you feel this way. I'll try not to do it like that anymore. Okay, when you do this, I feel like this. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't do that anymore. Okay, that sounds really fucking, you know, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. But this is how adults behave when you're in a relationship. This is how a healthy relationship functions. Okay. Um, other than that, I don't let her really go out and get drunk with her friends. Okay. If she's going to go out into a public setting where there's going to be a bunch of other guys around, I want to be there or I don't want her going. Okay. And why is that? Even if you, even if you trust her a lot, when she's out with other friends that are single and alcohol is involved and, and they look hot and stuff like that and guys are hitting on them, you know, you don't want to put them in those situations. It's not that you need to shelter them from the world, but you don't want them, you know, being all tipsy and stuff like that and getting hit on by guys. So that one is definitely off the table. Um, then there also shouldn't be any form of disrespect in public. If you're out in public and there's a guy trying to flirt with her, 
she should fucking shut it down, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Other than that, it's it's kind of, I like my like, girls that I'm seeing, especially the main girls, to wear nice, sexy outfits out in public. I like when they're showing off their bodies and stuff like that. It doesn't make me jealous when they're scantily clad or this or that. I actually prefer them to be like this, okay? And then you just enjoy the time. You get to know them more, you go out on dates, et cetera, you grow and you're and your bond with them, you have fun. I like to teach my main girl pickup. I like to get a bunch of threesomes involved. And what I've done in the past, you know, six to 12 months is every time we have a new threesome, we make a group chat and then we have a regular threesome rotation that we can correspond with and set up new regular threesome hangouts. And since uh, around this time last year, I've had over 40 different threesomes with the main Brazilian girl that I bring on my channel. Okay, so a lot of you don't have any experience running rotations yet. If you'd like to build a rotation very fast, we have most guys putting about one new rotation girl on per week that join my eight-week program. Do not hesitate, jump on a free 30-minute call. I'll go over an exact strategy how I can get you a rotation very fast, usually within a month's time, at least two to three girls. Okay, so by this time next month, you could have two or three regulars on your rotation, and I can go over the full game plan for that. Also, if you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell, and you will get alerted of new videos every single day, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Good luck in forming your rotation. Make sure that as your game gets better that you keep your quality standards high. You want, to, you want your main rotation girl to be the hottest, coolest one that you have the most chemistry with, okay? So don't settle for an average girl, you know, unless you're like an extreme beginner. Don't settle for a hot girl that's you know, got a whole bunch of internal issues, okay? So, so find that full package girl, you deserve it, and dare to be great, okay? If you need help getting there, fast tracking to that quick level of expert level success, jump on that free 30 minute call. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.